fine, né? The Fugelmeyer was originally developed in 1975. It is a stroke-specific, performance-based impairment index. It was designed to assess motor functioning, balance, sensation, and joint functioning in patients with post-stroke hemiplegia. It is one of the most widely used quantitative measures of motor impairment and has a total of five domains. Regarding specifics of the assessment, the assessment is free, aside from the items that you will need to conduct the assessment and the items are scored on a three-point ordinal scale. There are a total of 226 points that someone can score, and the five domains include motor function, sensory function, balance, joint range of motion, and joint pain. The subtest can be administered independently, and there are shortened versions available. What you'll need are, is a tennis ball, a small circular shaped container, this can be a bottle or a, a jar, a tool to test reflexes, adequate space for the patient to move around freely, and the quiet space free of distraction if possible. Administration time is 30 minutes, and the overall reliability of this test instrument is very high. And now we'll administer the assessment. Our patient is Marianne Peake, and she has suffered from a right middle cerebral artery stroke and presents with left-sided weakness of the upper extremity. All right, Ms. Peake, my name is Gary, and I'm gonna be an occupational therapy student today. Nice to meet you. Uh, today what we're going to do is the Fugelmeyer assessment. Uh, we're going to assess, it's just get some range of motion, um, different areas. I know you had a stroke, so we're going to see where we are now. Um, we'll run the assessment and then make some goals and start some treatment on you, okay? So the first thing I want to do is reflex activity. I want to test your biceps and your finger flexors. So this is the affected side. Yes. Okay, and this is your unaffected side. So what I'm going to do is just get you to put you like this. Test that, your fingers, good. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right. All right, then for these next things, I want you to do, I want you to follow the movement that I do, okay? Um, we're going to start with the first one, is moving your hand from your knee to your ear, okay? We're going to start on this side, this side, we're going to go from this ear to this knee, okay? So I want you to do it with this hand. Okay. Go ahead, to your knee. Mm -hmm. Good. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, so follow what I do. We're going to go from this ear to this knee. Okay, that's fine. Alright, and we're going to do the opposite of that next. So we're going to go from this knee to this ear. With this side. Mm -hmm. Go from this knee to that ear. Correct. Good. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. This knee to this ear. Okay, good. Alright, next what I want you to do is take your hand and try to reach behind your back. Just like this. There you go, good. Now we're going to do the same thing with this hand. Reach behind your back. There you go, good. Alright. The next thing I want you to do is take this arm and reach up in front of you as far as you can. Good. The same thing with this side. Next, what I want you to do is bring your arm up just like this, and then I want you to turn over and back. Good. Same thing on this side. Bring it out like this, and over and back. There you go. Good. All right. Next, what I want you to do is bring your arm, this arm out, up just to right here, and then come back down. There you go. Good. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just bring it up back down. There you go, good, good. All right, next thing I want you to do is this arm, just come from, let's see, 
here and up as far as you can. Good. Same thing on this side. Start here and come up. There you go. That's good. You don't have to hike your shoulder. All right. The next thing I want you to do, we're going to turn your wrist, your hand over and back. So I want you to come to here and then over and back. Good. Same thing on this side. Over and back. There you go. Good. All right. So, Ms. Pete, now we're going to measure um, your wrist um, flexion and stuff. So, what I'm going to have you do is put your elbow like this. And you're going to bring your wrist up like this. Good. All right. I'm going to apply a little resistance. All right. Good. All right. Now, let's do it with the other arm. Bring your elbow like this. And bring your wrist up. All right, good, good. All right, now um, we're going to start in this position with this hand, and I want you to flex your wrist like this. Let's do this motion. All right, good. All right, let's do it with the other arm. Okay. Good job. All right, so this time we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to have the arm up like this, okay? So we are going to start with your hand like this and bring your wrist up and I'm gonna apply resistance. Alright, good. Alright, and let's do it with the other arm. Flex. Good. Alright, and now this time we're going to bring your hand up and then do like this, this way. Time, we're going to start with this arm and we're going to bring your hand up and do a circular motion and then do it the opposite way. Good. Good. All right, and with the other hand. Good. Good job. So this time we're going to start with this hand. And we're going to have your arm just like this, and I want you to make a fist. All right, good. And with the other hand, make a fist. Good job. All right, we're going to go back to this arm, and I want you to extend your fingers. Stretch them out like that. Good job. And with the other hand. All right, so now what I'm going to have you do is bring your hand up like this and just curl your fingers in just like that. All right, good. Let's do it with the other hand. Good. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to have you do is um, pinch just like this onto that. All right, let's do this. This time I'm gonna have you grab the pencil with this hand, just like this, and I'm gonna pull it um, apply some resistance. Good. And the other hand. Good. All right. This time I'm gonna have you grab like this and I'm gonna apply resistance. This time I'm going to have you grab um, the ball with this hand the same way and I'm going to pull um, the opposite direction. Good. Good. Okay. We're 
going to do is I'm going to have you close your eyes and touch your knee to your nose as fast as you can five times. Okay? okay. Whenever you're ready, start with this thing. Good. All right. And with this hand, same thing. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, now what we're going to do, Miss Peek, is we're going to, I'm going to have you put your hand out like this and both hands out like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to get you to close your eyes and I'm going to touch you and I want you to tell me if you feel it, okay? Okay. And I'm going to start with this hand first, okay? So close your eyes and tell me when you feel it. Try the other side. Touch. 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 Good. Good job. You can open your eyes now. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through some motions, uh, and I'm going to do all the work, and I want you to tell me if you feel any pain or if you need me to stop, okay? Okay. So we're going to start with your shoulder. And like I said, tell me if you feel any pain or if you need me to stop. Good. Alright, another one. this and I'm going to bring you in. Good. Mm -hmm. Now another one. Good. And you okay? So now we're going to do this arm. And I want you to tell me if you feel any pain. A little bit, yeah. A little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll stop and come back right down. And now we're going to do this same movement here. Like I said, tell me if you feel pain. Okay, right there. And then I'm gonna do the same movement. I'm gonna bring your arm up like this. And I want you to tell me if you feel me. Yep. Right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna bring it up like that. A little bit. A little bit of pain right there. Okay, come back right now. You can relax now. So now I'm gonna do, uh, take you through another motion. Um, yeah, this this should be fine, I think. And now I'm gonna get you to uh, to kind of grab my arm like this, and I want to do uh, several movements with you. Okay. And now we're gonna do this arm. Same thing if you can kind of grab onto me. There you go. I'm gonna be feeling pain. Okay. Now I'm gonna take you through this deflection. as far as you can go? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to do one last move, and I'm going to take your fingers, and I'm just going to kind of bend them a little bit, mm -hmm. and then straighten them. Okay. And this side one more time. Bend them, and straighten them. Any pain? Okay. That's all. Scoring is based on direct observation of performance. Scale items are scored on the basis of ability to complete the item using a three-point ordinal scale, where zero means the patient cannot perform the action, one means the patient can perform the action partially, and two means the patient can perform the action fully. Again, the total possible scale score is 226. Points are divided among the five domains. Classification for impairment severity have been proposed based on total motor scores. The following is an example of how said score can be converted 
and apply to a patient in order to understand how their ability to participate in meaningful occupations has been impacted by their condition.